boy, you're going to lean out and clean up because I'm sick of getting shit on my dick. And I was just like, what a friendly way to start a class. See, and like, that is the term that clean can be used for, a butt. It's a butt. You can have a clean butt yes. and an unclean butt. You cannot be a clean person and an unclean person. Nope. <sighs> Hello. Hello! Welcome back to What's a Safe Word. I'm Amp. I'm Dave Watt. Not planned, but your last name is Watt, which... I know. Same spelling in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this week, we are talking to and sitting down with Dave, who just happens to be involved with a certain company called Mr. Friendly. The Mr. Friendly campaign. Mm -hmm. We fight stigma of HIV in friendly ways. What do you guys stand for? So, the, the whole Mr. Friendly campaign is meant to destigmatize HIV, yep. correct? Yes. But give me, give me the elevator speech. It started in, like, September 08. Wanted to come up with a symbol that wasn't an indication of my status, but just said, hey, I'm there for you. So, positive or negative, I'm there for you. So, it's not an indication of the wearer's status, because it's got a plus and a minus sign. Mm -hmm. So, it's just like, hey, let's start a conversation about HIV with a smile. Smiles are always nice until it gets a little creepy. It can get creepy. It can get creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I've really kind of painted myself into a corner with this campaign. Because <laughs> I be, have to be friendly be at, all. at all times. <laughs> well, sure. That's what these are good for, it's just letting it all out. This is like a therapy this, session this... sometime. That waiver you signed was for other things that you're selling. Well, um... I mean, it does kind of look like we're on a porn set right now, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw what else was in this room right now, there's you'd be like, yes, and some this, more and um, We got some nipple clamps over here, harnesses. yeah, and there's some harnesses. And clothes, um, and underwear. There's a dog bowl, we're not even going to talk about that. And what even, hey, those are my socks. Mm. I mean, you're welcome to... Thank you. Just don't steal them, please. And so Dave and I are both at Claw this weekend, but we both had some free time this evening just to sit down and talk about what Mr. Friendly is so that people can be more aware. And for events like this, mm -hmm. um, we've been really just connecting with people about passing out conversation starters. Why this is really being embraced by the leather community, I mean, it started in the leather community. You see the leather pride flag colors in there? Oh! So set the stage, what was it that, that drove you to start Mr. Friendly? Oh! Well, I'm a Michigan State Certified HIV Counselor Tester. Okay. So I would um, often go to bars and start a conversation with like, hey, pass out condoms, pass out condoms, pass out condoms. Mm -hmm. And I found that was not a very good way to start a conversation. What if you're not into condoms and I hand you a condom? Okay, let's, let's do it right here. I, I'm, I'm at the bar, wait, let me get a drink. I've got my drink. So I'm drinking. I'm at, I'm at the claw bar drinking. <laughs> hey, I've got condoms for you. <laughs> you know, what if you don't want to wear condoms? Sure. What if you're... Well, it's very assuming. Yes. That you're doing things out there. Well, you know, what, Sex. It just wasn't a great way to wear a condom. And if somebody wasn't, like, hated condoms, mm -hmm. I still really want to have a conversation with that person. Talk to me about what you do to negotiate, you know. And there's certainly lots of, you know, safe ways to have sex without a condom. So that's where the button came from. Like, I wanted a positive and negative sign to start a conversation. A button that anybody could wear. And it wasn't like, I'm pause friendly, look at me, I'm pause friendly. Mm -hmm. It meant, I'm status friendly. And then we got, you know, it, this, the campaign grew, we are like, hey, let's do a parade. So what signs do you have in a parade? So then we had to come up with phrases like, live stigma free of HIV, here for you, pause or nay, love knows no status. I mean, one friendly conversation at a time. That, to me, is the best way to address stigma is through one-on-one -on -one conversations. Because everyone's got a story. I know that my first encounter with someone who was HIV positive was my second like long-term boyfriend. The very first night that we'd ever even like spent together, we went on the, like a date for dinner and then went back to his place. We didn't have sex, but then afterwards he had a tattoo on his back that was a radioactive symbol. For those that don't know, it is a very common tattoo to get for someone who is HIV positive. Not to say that they are like contaminated or radioactive, but just to be like, it was a conversation starter. I was like, well, what does that mean? And he's like, well... You know, I'm, I'm HIV positive. But it started a conversation and he was super upfront about it. And he was like, if you're uncomfortable with that, that's cool. Like, we can be friends. But if you like that and you don't mind it, like, we can have sex in a relationship. Sex. And that was one of the nicest relationships I ever had. I learned so much about HIV positive guys and the stigma that they go through. Just dating someone who was positive when I'm negative. People would treat him differently than they would me when it came to, like, yeah. Talking about sex yeah. or talking about playing. How we had sex, not even involving the other that's people. That's very brave of you to date someone with oh, HIV. Oh god, that's so condescending. In a relationship like that, I often find that in a zero discordant, I call it magnetic 
couple. <laughs> magnetic couple. Zero discordant is where one is HP positive and one is HP negative. Yes, which is what that relationship was. Yes. Call it magnetic. I, I like magnetic. Because a yeah. positive yeah. and a negative yeah. attract. So I brought with me Friendly Pup. <laughs> Friendly Pup is our mascot oh. to fight stigma of HIV. What's <laughs> awesome about Friendly Pup is it's a great like conversation starter at an event. So I love that you guys are fighting stigma by making things approachable, yes. using using symbols like the, the smiley face and the dog, just to make that that a topic that's easy to talk about and to start. And so your symbol is very easy to recognize. I mean, it's an international symbol, if I'm not mistaken, right? I would it's say everywhere we're around the world. And you guys have teams all over the country, yeah, correct? Yeah, we do. Other people would say like, "Hey, I really like what you're doing, Dave." So we want to do that in my, you know. Mm -hmm. So I got together with my friend Mark Eddy, and he and I wrote a curriculum on how to put a team together, how to fight stigma in friendly ways, how to use like motivational interviewing techniques, and brainstormed on ideas and wrote down ideas on what you can do at an event to be fun. So other teams, and now we're training other teams. That's great. Yeah. That sounds rough. <laughs> If you're the type of person that wants to lecture people into change, mm -hmm. then this isn't the campaign for you. Because it's really about listening, mm -hmm. you know, and like hearing people's stories and having empathy for no matter where they're at and helping them along their journey. We'll meet people who are living with HIV and it's like, you know, just like, oh, I hated my doctor. Let's talk about that. Oh, my first doctor didn't even know what prep was when I asked him about uh, it. Like I was going in for a, a test and checkup and I sat down and I was like, yeah, so this is good, that's good, just annual checkup. Also, uh, I'm curious about getting into prep, and he just was like, Oh, totally, yeah, sure, let's, uh, let's do that. What's prep? What's prep? Like, <laughs> yeah. That was a lot of empathy for your doctor there, nice job. I, he was a nice, he was really so, nice. You know, the U equals U campaign, undetectable is untransmittable, and I, I added, it's undeniably awesome. <laughs> so at every workshop You are good about do, making things fun. Yes. <laughs> so I asked for some questions on Twitter, Facebook, oh, yeah. Tumblr, and all that. Here's some questions from Twitter. <laughs> Any suggestions for disclosure etiquette in group sex slash public play spaces? Ah, uh, like for me, I'm always encouraging people who are negative mm -hmm. to be the ones who start the conversation. Don't leave it up to the guy who's positive to be the one to initiate it. Just you say first, I'm pause friend. But if that person goes like, eh, you know, mm -hmm. then I'm just like, then we probably wouldn't have connected anyway. Mm -hmm. Which is just like, all right, move on. Uh, any suggestion for pause guys who get turned down after they disclose? You're obviously going to be hurt by this. So how to not react in anger, if, if at all possible. We want to have some empathy for the person who's negative and doing the turning down. So if you can just dig deep and feel some empathy for that person who's negative and just like, I understand your fear of not wanting to contract HIV. I was there once too. And just help educate that person. And they might not take it, but if they hear that enough, I would hope that they will change. You can react to someone in two different ways. You can react negatively or, lack of a better word, positively. And if you react negatively and you leave just a bad taste in their mouth, there's always gonna be some negative connotation they with can associate that, that topic. negativeness with the guy who's positive. And, oh, and then like, that's you know, just confusing. Like, oh, right, right. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Or you can act you can react positively right. and educate them. I say react friendly. You can react more friendly. Act friendly and educate them on the topic and be like, actually, undetectable guys or pause guys that are on their meds are at no to low risk so long as they are taking care of themselves and you're getting checked every so often, you should be fine. The person asks, are you gonna do a show with Dave? <laughs> <laughs> no. Ooh, what are good conversation starters? How would you ask for someone's status? Say you're, you're on, on online dating. Or know? even like, for me, like what do I put on a profile? Or what Ooh, I would recommend putting on a profile? That's a good one. But I encourage like something like, I'm open to talking about status without judgment. I'm HIV stigma free. I'm open to talking about HIV without judgment. So using lots of really friendly terminology. Oh, there's one thing that I less frequently, thank goodness, but one thing I always see on dating profiles is clean mm. or neg clean. Mm -hmm. Clean is a term used to imply other things. But even with HIV, clean is just not a nice term. It right. implies that someone is dirty or lesser or unclean just because they happen to be positive. Or that the HIV negative person in that magnetic couple is more worthy of love. Like that person isn't tainted goods. Mm -hmm. Oh, this person just asks, how do I join? Check out Mr. Friendly on our, some of our social media on Twitter, Mr. Friendly, Facebook, Mr. Friendly, Instagram, 
Mr. Friendly was there. Bill. Like, oh. Team Friendly. Oh, no, he was so I know, close I know. to Brad. Team Friendly. We offer new forming teams free startup supplies. So with HIV and AIDS, we've come a long way mm -hmm. since it first started. You know, we've gotten people regularly testing every three months. We've gotten prep out in the mainstream. We bring HIV testing to the bars. We've yeah. got prep campaigns coming at us all over the place now, which is awesome. And people are becoming more and more educated. Right. But what what's what's next then for Mr. Friendly? Once once we have prep out there and once we have testing everywhere, what, what do you guys do after that? I don't want to take away from all that wonderfulness. No, we love that. Bringing testing to the bars. But like what I've learned is if I go to a bar and I'm just offering free testing, I'm really leaving out everybody there that's already living with HIV. And I encourage us all to like think that way, that it's not just about you need to know your status. It is about living happy and healthy with no matter what choices we're making. So if you happen to be living with HIV, I'm gonna be there for you. Just creating this community of support of really being there for each other. And that's really kind of what I wanna to do to you know help encourage people to Let's work towards a world stigma-free of HIV, of everything. Aww. Unconditional love for everybody, because puppies love everybody. Um, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta... That's not you yours. Stay here, Dave. I'll... I would like to offer you a gift. Okay. So this is one of those conversation starters. Uh -huh. So if somebody says, I like your dog tag, and then you say, hey, you explain what it means, that we're there for each other no matter what, and they said, oh, I like that message, and they're like, oh, I'd like to give you that dog tag. So then you actually take the dark tag. And hopefully you can get it off. Hopefully you get off. So I give that to you. Thank you. So here's the friendly rule, okay? Okay. Is you wear the dark tag, okay. and then the first person who says that I like it, hey, I like your dog tag, then you explain it, and then you give that dog tag to them. Wait, I have a gift for you. Oh my goodness. It's also a conversation starter. Yay. So this is a what's the safe word shirt. It also starts a conversation to talk about sex and kink, and there's no rules about it, just wear it. So thank you for coming on, Dave. I really appreciate your message and what you and your group do. Thanks. But before we go, we always have one last question. Whether you're positive or negative, always have a safe word. And today's safe word is Dave. Oh. Ah! <laughs> More of a safe expletive, I guess. Okay, or sure, a safe, safe, uh, No, we'll, we'll, we'll accept I'm, that. We'll like, accept I'm, that. I'm, uh, Leave a comment down below with any stories you might have around HIV, activism, being positive, being negative, being part of Mr. Friendly, maybe. Sure. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video with Dave, and we will see you guys next time on What's a Safe Word. Bye. I'm positively attracted to you. <laughs> is, it an, is it a moo-moo now? <laughs> <laughs> it's an arf-arf, not a moo-moo. Uh... <laughs>